Sonic, it might be time to give it up, bro. Pass it prime. I'm just saying. Ob one plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. So I'm gonna be wearing this. You're gonna be seeing this in the videos until it breaks, bro. We support the kids, bro. Hey, all right. Before we get started with the video, you already know. Give it a thumbs up, like, like, like. We have some dope news items for this video. Big Microsoft events. Sega and Xbox partnership. Let's debunk that. Nintendo had a 10.0 update that was a big lackluster and the world of Minecraft is about to change forever. All right, the first news item. This is coming from WCCFTech.com and they're saying, according to a new rumor posted on 4chan. Now, 4chan is hit or miss, bro. I'ma just leave that out there. But... There's some backing behind this 4chan rumor from a credible source. Microsoft is planning two digital events. One for May and one for June. Now, before we get into the details of the article and the events, this is why I think this is legit. Bro, they did this with the launch of the Xbox One. Um, they had a separate event before E3, a proper console reveal where they started to talk about why it's called the Xbox One because it wants to be a one entertainment source to play, to watch ESPN and cable. And what about the games, Microsoft? That's what they did for the Xbox One. <laughs> Live and learn. Live and learn. And they have been riding all the wrongs for the Xbox One so far with the xbox series x so they did this before this is why this uh, is legit bro that means next month in a month we could be getting our first xbox series digital event now what will be in the different events i'm glad you're still watching here it is the one in may will focus on hardware serving as a proper console reveal event but will also include some game annou announcements. And so, in December, we really just got the trailer. And the developers have been speaking in individual um, videos about the hardware. The Microsoft has put up a blog. We already pretty much know the specs. It's a beast. It's a monster. But they're going to go into more detail. So, maybe there's some things hidden under the hood that we're still not even privy to, bro. All right, and it's also gonna have game announcements, and so they're gonna do the hardware, but also hit us with some games. The June event will essentially replace Microsoft's planned E3 presentation and include a lot of major game announcements. I'm telling you, the narrative this last generation has been, Xbox don't have any games, the games are lackluster, and it's not really that true because I'm on my Xbox every day and I'm playing games every day. But I have to say, some of the first party offerings, little, could have been better. It could have been better. All right, so we're going to get that out there. But um, they've invested in over 15 new studios, exclusive content coming to Xbox. And I can't wait to see what that powerhouse studio, I think it's called The Initiative, what they're going to be um, um, talking about releasing in the fall. All right, continues. Alika goes on to say that the much rumored Fable Revival will be one of the games revealed, bro. 
I love me some Fable. Fable 2 and 3 was my jam. I had to say 2 was the pinnacle of the series. 3 brought it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So 4, I hope with Fable 4, um, uh, they just they just crank it back up. I like the dynamic evolution of your character. Each decision, you get even e either more and more evil or more and more good. And so it's just a dope, dope, dope series. Um, can't wait to see more information on Fable. All right. Apparently, this is what they're saying about Fable. The game will be beautiful with a world that's partly handcrafted using photogrammetry. I don't know what that is. And partly procedurally generated. Other games, excuse me, we'll supposedly be seeing over the next couple months include Halo Infinite, which we already know. Um, something new from Obsidian. Can't wait. A Forza Motorsport. Forza, the best racing series. Reboot. A Forza Motorsport reboot. They're saying they're rebooting the series? Wow. I wonder what they're going to title the next Forza. And a big exclusive IP from a Japanese studio. Wow, a big exclusive IP from a Japanese studio. That sounds amazing. All right, so I know some of you guys are thinking, <coughs> for a little iffy, but um, the article is also saying the rumor is being backed by Tim Dog, who previously leaked accurate information. This is what um, Tim Dog is saying on Twitter. Hate to see it, but a 4 4chan post kind of lines up to some of the stuff I'm hearing. With that being said, probably more confirmation is not real, but I put it out to say that to say what you think. All right. Well, he's pretty much saying that some of the some of the stuff lines up to what he's been hearing, and so can't wait to see what Microsoft's going to be talking about. Um, for the Xbox Series X, hype, hype, hype for this console. Microsoft has me back, hype, bro. All right, next news item. There was a rumor floating around yesterday that Microsoft was about to buy Sega, and Sega was about to, Sonic was about to be a first-party IP, and it turns out that that was a fake rumor, but. I think that could have been something special. I think that low key could have been lit, bro. Sonic is so iconic. And for me, Sonic really hasn't been the same since the Sega Genesis, bro. I love Sonic Mania. Dope, dope, dope game. I have it on my Switch and my Xbox One. I haven't touched it on my Xbox One, though. But, um, Sega needs help, bro. Well, they, they, they've been doing like reboots, mobile, their mobile initiative. So I guess they're doing fine. But they're nowhere their former self, though. Sega used to be at the top, bro. Going toe to toe with Mario, bro. And so I thought that would have been cool, but there's nothing of it. Sonic, you pass your prime. All right, next news item Minecraft Ray Tracing is launching in two days, April 16th. Minecraft RTX is coming to PC. Open beta, open beta. It's coming to Windows 10 PC now. You already know this has to be on the Xbox Series X when it comes out. Ray tracing, that's what Sony and Microsoft has been hyping up. Bro, Minecraft, Minecraft looks so much better with this ray tracing, bro. <laughs> and so, I expect, if not at launch, but soon... Minecraft ray tracing to be the norm, the standard for next generation consoles. But it comes out in two days. I thought that was pretty cool. And the last news item for this video Nintendo had update 10.0. Three out of 10. <laughs> Bro, they had where you could transfer your data. They updated to where you could now transfer your data from your micro SD card to your console. Something that should already be in the console at launch. Button mapping. The button mapping is cool for some games, especially where you could tweak it to really uh, exploit some things. But again, button mapping, bro, 
Come on, bro. Other consoles, you could do that already, bro. So those were the biggest things, and then you had icons that you could change. Bro, when it comes to a whole number update, I expect I my expectations start to go up a little bit. And especially a 10 point, oh, the number 10, 10 is special, bro. I thought they were, were going to go big. But I tweeted out on Twitter, my expectations for Nintendo are all the way down, all the way down there somewhere. <laughs> so, I wasn't even tripping. It's Nintendo. They do their own thing, bro. It's Nintendo. They do their own thing, so it is what it is. All right. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. This is how Sonic would look on the Xbox Series X, bro. That's how it better look. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan Plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.